So I ended up possibly committing career suicide by becoming a children's television presenter, which was unavoidable. If you're a children's television presenter, there are basically rules. You have to be involved in an activity before suddenly realizing you're on TV. You can't just start a show to the camera. You have to be doing something before going, oh, hello, I'm Michael. You can't, not, you can't just go straight into it. And I said to them, I don't want to do that because it's embarrassing. They're like, no, sorry, you have to stick to the script. <laughs> script? What script? I thought I was just reading a book. Oh, no, there was a script. I had to talk to a penguin, a fluffy penguin. <laughs> I had to sit on a children's bed talking to a penguin and go, hello, Mr. Penguin. Where have you been? Oh, the Antarctic. And they said, cut! I was like, what was the problem? They said, can you let the penguin talk? I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> so it's, it's a fluffy toy. They said, no, you need to leave gaps so the where the penguin would be talking. Come on, Michael, take it seriously. I'm like, all right, fine. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Penguin. Michael, can you not take the piss? Can you not interrupt Mr. Penguin? 